My name is Faina Stern. I'm a physician and president of the Admitech Foundation. Admitech is a nonprofit organization leading state, national, and international programs in prostate cancer. These programs advance patient care and reduce health disparities. The focus of my talk is on our prostate cancer equity program launched recently to bring the cutting edge advances in patient care to every man in Massachusetts and eliminate health disparities. Prostate Cancer Equity Program is an integral part of the Admitex ongoing statewide program in prostate cancer that created a Massachusetts model of national and global leadership in public awareness, medical education, and research. Our primary focus is on high-risk men, Black, Hispanic, and Latino individuals, and all men with family history of prostate cancer and increasing age, 50 and older. We are grateful to the Massachusetts legislature and administration that made this program possible. For public awareness and education, our messaging centered on the importance of screening and early detection critical for saving lives. Early detection is particularly important for Black, including Hispanic men, who are two and a half times more likely to die compared to white men. With early detection of prostate cancer, every man is alive in five years. In sharp contrast, with late diagnosis, when cancer is spread to other organs, only 28% of men remain alive during the same period of time. Since 2015, we have seen a strong impact of our public awareness and education on reducing prostate cancer mortality in Black men and related disparities in two counties in particular in Massachusetts, Plymouth and Worcester counties. The centerpiece of Admitex Medical Education is annual global summit on precision diagnosis and treatment of prostate cancer. The latest annual conference took place in September 2022. Our summit has been recognized as a seminal event in shaping the state of the art and future vision for patient care. Our summit brings together the key international experts representing every clinical expertise to review the best emerging clinical practices. This educational event showed a rapid advances in patient care. In screening, our summit supports clinical practice guidelines recommended by the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, consisting of over 28 cancer hospitals and their leading experts. High-risk men, including individuals with Black heritage and with family history of prostate cancer, are recommended to initiate discussions with their doctors about screening with PSA blood test at the age of 40. Average risk men should start talking to their doctors about screening at the age of 45. This first or what we call baseline screening test in younger men is important for identifying men at risk of lethal prostate cancer long term over 10 years. In diagnostics, we have seen emergence of very accurate non-invasive tools such as blood urine, and saliva analysis for molecular and genetic abnormalities, and advanced imaging, including ultrasound, MRI, molecular imaging. These non-invasive diagnostics highlighted the importance of PSA screening and shifted past concerns about screening into a dustbin of history. For example, these diagnostics can determine which individual man has an increased risk of life-threatening, rapidly progressing prostate cancer, improve early detection, critical for saving lives, reduce unnecessary procedures such as biopsies and treatment, and optimize selection of personalized care for each man, including careful observation, what we call active surveillance, minimally invasive interventions, or immediate radical treatment. High-risk individuals, including Black men, carry higher risk of both mortality or death and unnecessary procedures. Consequently, 
it is critical for them to have access to precision diagnostics that determine for each individual man if he should or should not have invasive biopsy or treatment and what options in clinical care are best for him. Unfortunately, in Massachusetts, compared to white men, black men are less likely to have precision diagnostics such as advanced imaging, MRI or molecular imaging, or molecular or genetic testing, and to undergo life-saving treatment. Prior to undergoing invasive biopsy and treatment, it is important for each man to discuss with his doctor if any testing is available to determine if these procedures are actually needed, and if yes, what kind of options would work best for him. Our summit concluded that equal access to high quality care is the key factor in improving patient outcomes for all men and eliminating health disparities in black men. It is particularly important now with so many novel diagnostic and therapeutic approaches, ensuring high quality personalized patient care. Without equal access to these advances in patient care, we will see a widening gap in health inequalities, including survival and mortality. Consequently, Admitech launched the Prostate Cancer Equity Program in Massachusetts in collaboration with Mass General Brigham, UMass, and other clinical institutions with the mission to save lives and deliver high-quality care. Supporting organizations include Latino Health Insurance Program and NAACP New England Area Conference with their multiple branches located across the state. Our goal is to expedite access to leading experts who use the most advanced approaches to screening, diagnosis, and treatment available today and to support men every step of their medical journey. This program helps men to find an expert for the initial or a second opinion in person or virtual visits. Any Massachusetts man age 40 and older can take part in this program. Our priority focus is on Black, Hispanic, and Latino men who are at higher risk of prostate cancer, delayed diagnosis, poor quality care, and death. We believe that in Massachusetts, with its leading hospitals, a universal access to care, our prostate cancer equity program will be able to eliminate health disparities. Experts of the prostate cancer equity program can address any questions about prostate health. From assessing an individual healthy man's personal risk of prostate cancer to informing men about all available options before and after screening, biopsies, and treatment. We are committed to supporting men during every step of their medical journey to ensure that no man is left behind or struggling alone. To achieve this goal, we created a streamlined VIP-style process of patient referral and care, reflecting how doctors involved in this program take care of our families and friends. This process consists of three components. First, Admitech Foundation Administrative Coordinator collects basic information and matches individual patient needs with the appropriate state's experts for clinical care. Second, a clinical organization designates a patient navigator who works with multiple schedulers to expedite a medical visit and address related needs, including scheduling, registration, transportation, and financial assistance as needed. Third, if an expert recommends any next steps, Admitex coordinator and patient navigator work with men on the appropriate follow-up, such as testing or treatment. I'd like to share a few recent examples of how Prostate Cancer Equity Program has been making a difference. This is a story of a Black man with a history of prostate cancer who is currently being treated. On May 15, his doctor informed him that his scheduled treatment 
could not be provided due to problems with insurance uh, coverage. He got upset and shared his situation with the leader of the Men of Color Health Awareness, MOCA, our community partner in Springfield who referred him to us. On the late afternoon of May 26, right before the Memorial Day weekend, he contacted us and appealed for help. Our primary goal was to restore his treatment as soon as possible, and we immediately reached out to Dr. Mitchell Sokolov, chair of urology at UMass, and his team to secure their support. On May 30th, right after Memorial Day, UMass Urology provided guidance to this man how to address his insurance issues. By Friday, the same week on June 2nd, the insurance issue has been resolved and the appointment with Dr. Sokolov was scheduled at the earliest opportunity in early July to resume this man's treatment. This black man was referred to us about one month ago in mid-May by Cambridge and ASCP. He was recently diagnosed with prostate cancer and got alarmed when his urologist informed him that the best care will not be available to him due to his limited insurance. We conducted him right away with the patient navigator at the Mass General Brigham. She obtained a referral from his primary care physician and secured approval from his insurance. By June 6, this man saw so Dr. Adam Feldman, a leading clinical expert and one of our featured physicians, Dr. Feldman described various treatment options, but recommended surgery, which was scheduled for August. Erin Roberts, a member of the Admitech Foundation staff, serves as a statewide coordinator and the first contact for the prostate cancer equity program. When you come to us, Erin and our team will work with you, Mass General Brigham, UMass, Latino Health Insurance Program, and other clinical partners, to expedite medical visits and address any needs you may have. Our team may not be able to right every social wrong that cannot be resolved by federal or state government or provide perfect solutions for every man. And yet we are committed to doing our best and making sure men are not left behind or struggling alone. If you have any questions or need assistance, please contact Erin by phone 617-523-3535 or by email coordinator at admitechfoundation.org. Thank you for your attention.